Uh, my name's Mannix. I'm the vice president of the SUNY Cobalt Skill chapter of Ducks Unlimited. These are our other members. This is Louie. I'm Louie. I'm the social chair of our chapter. And, uh, Ethan. and I'm Ethan, just a member. Um, so we just got done with a evening goose hunt it's in the previous video, so if you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's pretty awesome. But uh, we had a little bonus before some of the birds flew. A little New York specialty. We shot some pigeon this evening. So we're going to walk you through a little cleaning and um, we're going to make some pigeon poppers. Basically, when you clean a pigeon, uh, you're gonna do it kind of like you would just do a morning dove or even just kind of like a duck. Um, we're just gonna breast it out. They're gonna be real tiny breasts, just like a morning dove, but all these uh, farm-raised pigeons where they just sit on the dairy farms and eat all the grain, all they're eating all day is corn and silage. They're, they're gonna taste just like a dove, basically. Peel it all back. There's not much there, but it's going to be tasty. <laughs> okay, so we didn't just shoot pigeon. We also shot about seven geese or so, and it was a pretty good hunt overall. So, you know, we've got the geese all cut up. We're probably going to make jerky out of it. It's the plan at the moment. So we're going to just, you know, get some meat out of the hunt right now, cook some up, and uh, enjoy a little snack while we can. Um, Farm-raised pigeons right there. So these are off of New York State Dairy Farms and they eat a lot of the same ingredients that the cows eat. So a lot of corn and other oats. So they eat at the spillage over from the grain bins and out of like the bunks where they do high moisture corn, which is ground up into a powder. So they basically eat like any farm raised animal. This one's gizzard is also full of some good old corn, good old corn, corn and, silage. and some silage right there with it. Another nice thing about uh, harvesting these pigeons is that they're a big nuisance around these areas, especially the big dairy farms. Uh, people don't realize it, but uh, they can actually eat quite a bit of grain every day. And it, uh, it, it, it can be pretty devastating to some of the dairy farms eating all of that food for their uh, dairy cows. So we're really doing the farmer a favor. I mean, it also spread diseases as some of them go farm to farm. So they can pick stuff up and bring it to another farm and then cause outbreaks, which then cost money to treat the cows. So right now we, because the pigeon breasts are larger in size than a dove and the size of the peppers, we're slicing all of them in half. And then along with that, we're cutting in the jalapenos in half and then a bell pepper for myself, most likely into quarters. So yes, yeah, so we're just gonna get to work on that, cut any way, away any like bloodshot areas fat, try to get some tendons out of it, tendons out of it if we can, and then yeah, get at it. Yes. If you want to get yourself a nice healthy helping of cream cheese on there, it's where all your flavor is going to get stored into, all your all your fat from your bacon and your, uh, your pigeon meat here is going to soak right down into that, it's going to taste just divine. Pack that bad boy right down in there. <laughs> what is this? Leave some mouth over. You're telling me to be light on the cream cheese. Look at that. <laughs> that's a that's like a tablespoon of cream cheese on there. It is a tablespoon. That's a healthy bite. This guy's this guy's a professional chef. Yeah. In 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 the real world and in the duck camp, he is five star. I mean, just look at the way he's he's handling those peppers. He knows what he's doing. He really does. He's got he's got this little ratatouille under his cap, you know. <laughs> in New York, we have the or West New York especially, we have the glorious store of Wegmans. So we got the thick sliced maple flavored and maple smoked bacon, and you can smell the maple coming off of it. Which in New York, there's no difference between Vermont or New York maple syrup. That's gonna anger a lot of people. <laughs> Toothpicks. Oh, it smells fantastic. Alright, so we got these bad boys all rolled up nice and snug. We're gonna head out to the back deck, overlooking the lake, of course, and uh, we're gonna get these puppies on the grill. There's a lot of, there's a lot of geese out there. Man. Some good the grill is hot. That's, a, that's our fact of the day. Yeah, so we had the grill up on high to cook off you know, all the leftovers from last time, and now we just turned her down. We're rolling a high-medium uh, on these puppies. We're gonna give them a couple of minutes, uh, closed up, let that bacon uh, sear down and cook, and get that uh, pitch tasting nice and yummy. 
So we've got the uh, good old fashioned Bucks multi-purpose seasoning, which consists of salt, pepper, garlic, and spices. Uh, doesn't tell you what kind of spices uh, are in there, but uh, we're going to add a dash of flavor to these uh, poppers. Oh yeah, I think those look pretty good. Some of them got a little little overdone on the underside. We had a little grease fire spark up, but that still looks good to me. So we just got the poppers off the grill, and now it's time for the official taste test review of New York State Pigeon Poppers. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that's where it's at right there. Upstate delicacy. <laughs> yeah, so thanks everyone for watching. Um, if you ever have a chance to go shoot farm pigeons, preferably not city pigeons, it'll be amazing poppers. And like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. One final thing to add. Yum, yum, get you some. <laughs> <laughs>